Ladies and gentlemen, how you doing today? I want to thank everybody for stopping by. You know, I just want to say thank you for stopping in and checking out some of the topics for the day. You know what I'm saying? I want to speak on Trumpism. You know, you know, just, you know, kind of like kick back off the screen a little bit, turn up your volume and just, you know, meditate a little bit. I just want to kind of get straight to it. A lot of people are in the blind, might be a little naive to the situation, but I'm going to bring up, it, it, it's going to hit home, but it's the truth. It's like, okay, Jim Jones, if you're not familiar with it, you know, after the message, look it up, Jim Jones, a person who's persuasive and dictative and once he was uprooted meaning deep deep de um deep deep de, de escalated out of his position he turned on the people massive killing thousands and here you have a person in the Oval Office, sacrificing everybody. This is a sacrifice, man. Not to, not to make race an issue or a topic. Equal equality. This is what they marched for in the 18, in, 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 the, um, in the 60s, 70s about equal opportunity everybody treated equal you understand what i'm saying and here you have a person that's that that can have all the ones to follow and misguide and and at the end of the day li listen at this slogan some may have heard it used to be Together we stand, divided we fall, but hell, it's divided we stand, and together we fall. We falling as a whole. Ain't no different than throwing a crab in a damn bucket. At the end of the day, everybody been treated the same. This shit is no different than slavery. We, we, we fought against slavery and prevailed, but this is what they call, this is the term that is real sensitive and a lot of people don't understand. Slavery go deep. That's when you hear people, man, they slaving the shit out of me. Oh, we being slave, man. We can't even get no rent. Excuse me. Can't even get no raise. They ain't even hiring. You know what I'm saying? And then it shows you the effect that it has on people mentally, physically. It frustrates you and puts you in a situation. Yeah, you have people on Section 8, you have people with mental health issues. You have people, thank God for Obamacare. A lot of people miss it, disagree, but at the end of the day, it's about the money. If you don't have health care, how can the doctor get paid? Who paying that $100 at the ER? Who paying it? Nobody. You see what I'm saying? But that extra little money that you have on your check that you're not paying for coverage, guess what? Oh, I don't need health care. I can, I can use that couple of hundred, hundred and twenty dollars, two hundred dollars. I, I, I ain't been to pay that. And that's what people go wrong. You can't even get, look at your teeth. Look at, look at your mouth. Look in the mirror when you smile. How you going to get that fixed without no insurance? And then the rich, what's, what's sad about the wealthy so many will sacrifice and have sacrificed their life over a dollar bill. Shit, forget about the dollar, a, a penny. Huh? It's not fair for a person to support somebody who would take that same spoon out your kid mouth. We can sacrifice all the time, but when it comes to them chilling, Man, you can best believe whatever goes. 
You understand me? But don't sit there, man, ladies and gentlemen, and continue to be manipulated. Black folks, white folks, Hispanic, Native Americans, Latinos, we all in this thing together. At the end of the day, like like they say, we all bleed red. Unless you unless you've been dead for a while, you get what I'm saying. But we all in it together. Look 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 now. He ain't working. He ain't, let let me touch on that. Let, let let me touch on that, ladies and gentlemen. Back to black. Not not trying to be racist now. Just just listen to my message. Black folks been denied for years employment. You see what I'm saying? Well, we're not hiring at this time. Or, 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 or you know, we're laying off in different natures. We 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 go through that. But a lot of people don't understand what it what it feels like not to get that paycheck. To be home. You know what I'm saying? The light side. Cold ass shower. You feel what I'm saying? Cooking on the barbecue grill every day. You understand what I'm saying? Wicks and lanterns and candles and shit. You understand what I'm saying? Some of y'all don't understand. But, oh, they on Social Security. Or they on Medicaid, Medicare. Look, look now. Oh, oh, they getting food stamps. Oh, they on food. Look who try. Look, look now. You in the same situation trying to get you some food stamps. You feel what I'm saying? Oh, now you trying to go to the charity to get you something. We've been denied this 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 thing for years. But it ain't nothing wrong with um food stamps. When you in need, it ain't nothing wrong with going to the church to the church and getting donation. Or, or like 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 back in the damn eighties. When you had to stand in that long ass welfare line to get some of that good ass government cheese, huh? Some of that good ass lard. You get what I'm saying? When they had lard, you know, you don't really even see the lard unless you're, you know, doing a little restaurant thing. But who? The best cheese sandwich in the world, boy. I'm 